outside when we know more. Who called counterintelligence? Not me. Hey, Ted. We're crashing the party. P. Roddy? Salt? Please remove the hood. Microphones are on. Checking levels. Baseline recorded. Neural scan is up. Ready to go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Commencing audio and visual recording. Interview has commenced at 1442. You're married. <laughs> a husband must be a distraction for a female intelligence officer. Well, we're here to talk about you. So what is your name? My name is Alek Vasilievich Orlov. I have cancer. I'm moved. A defector with cancer. Are you selling secrets for chemo or are you afraid of dying? If I have gained anything by damning myself, it is that I no longer have anything to fear. Russia is also dying, but like Oleg Vasily Orlov shows up in 1993 in Novosibirsk Oblast, Siberia. He's on Viktor Berezovsky's staff there. He checks out his FSB. Scan says he's truthful on the cancer. Prior to 93? Russia was once strong. Nothing. Powerful, respected. Doesn't exist. And she will be again when things have been set back on the correct path. I have somewhere I need to be, Mr. Arlov. So if you wouldn't mind getting to the point. Я пришёл сюда рассказать тебе одну историю. Мне не нравится история. Но я всё равно выслушаю и, пожалуйста, in English, please. Others are listening. 1975. The Cold War. In a gymnasium in Grozny, a Soviet Olympic wrestler named Sasha Fyodorovich Chenko meets for the first time the only female chess grandmaster of her era, Anya Nurekyeva. Within a month, they were married, and within a year, a child. One month more, the child was back in the same hospital, sick with fever. And within days after that, the child suddenly was dead. Yes, a child was dead. And yes, a child was buried. But the Chenko baby was alive and became the property of another man. A master spy who had devised the greatest plan a Russian patriot could ever invent. A plan to destroy America. It had all started with an American named Lee Harvey Oswald. In 1959, he emigrated to Russia. Three years later, he returned home. But the man who came back to America was, in fact, a Russian spy named Alec. On November 22, 1963, Alec became the first success of the new program and a hero of the Soviet Union. The spy master was now given the go-ahead to create many more like Alec. Scores of agents 
males and females to be substituted for Americans. At an abandoned monastery, Chenkov and other boys and girls learned English long before they learned Russian, drilled in idiom, idiosyncrasy, and ideology. And by methods of rigorous physical and psychological programming, the spy master made warriors of iron unquestioning and unbreakable. Who crossed first? Who crossed last? You're killing me, man. When does the good fairy come in? Never. It's a story without hope. Cherkov was matched with the child of a visiting American family. There was an accident. The family died. Chenkov was sent to America to live a complete lie and to patiently await the day to attack from within, day X. The long-awaited mission is here. Chenkov will travel to New York City to kill the president of Russia at the funeral of the American Vice President. Chenkov is K-A-12. K-A. Cold War legend. Highly trained Russian sleeper agents inserted into American society to sabotage and assassinate. Supposedly, they'd wait years to strike, decades even. Mm. Supposedly. What's the matter, Ted? You don't believe in moles? Oh, well, I believe in moles, all right. Just not the boogeyman. Especially if the plan is to kill their own president. This guy's selling smoke. Wrap it up, Ev. So, a Russian agent is going to kill the Russian president. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, what would you like in return for that information? I simply wish to help you do what you need to do. You're good. <laughs> the KA program is brilliant bullshit. But I'm officially off duty, so you can tell the rest of your little story to one of my colleagues. Salt. Yes. The name of the Russian agent is Salt. Evelyn Salt. My name is Evelyn Salt. Then you are a Russian spy. Truthful. So far, the fMRI scan registers truthful on everything he said. Ted. Call Protective Services and make sure whoa, they whoa, find my husband. Where are you going? I need to get to the phone. No, 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 no. Not after the neural scan. Because he didn't flutter? I yeah. could beat that thing five times out of six. I am trained to, and so is he. I need my phone. I need to call my husband. Let me call my Let husband. Let me see it. There's a reason he mentioned my wedding ring, Ted. When they blow up a spy, they don't just blow up their cover. They blow up their whole cover life. You know that. Yeah. Do you remember what happened to Henley's wife? Yes, I do. Speak up. Honey, it's me. Please call me as soon as you get this. Okay, sweetheart, as soon as you get this. Godspeed, Kovrachenko. Oh. Someone interrogate that piece of shit. Someone who enjoys getting answers. Look, Ev, try to stay calm. I'm not a goddamn Russian spy. I didn't say you were. Let's go up to my office and we can sort this out. No, no, we gotta go to a secure location. Now. All right. Doesn't get any more secure than this. Ev? Five minutes. Call Protective Services and tell oh, them no. to find Mike. This bullshit. <laughs> 